Honestly, I wish this was clickbait. Hello internet fanatics and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're one of my current 475 subscribers, then welcome back. And if you're not, you've officially been shunned. Today I thought I'd once again delve into my oh-so-interesting and troubled past. <laughs> not really. And to rehash a story from when I was a youngin'. Because why come up with original, riveting content when you can just not? For this video, I'm going to be throwing it all the way back to when I was in primary school and telling you a tale that is as equally problematic as it is absurdly hilarious. So I went to a Catholic primary school, despite my loyal and impenetrable allegiance to Satan and cynicism. And when I was 10 or 11 and about year 4 or 5, a new curate or assistant priest came to our parish church. As always, for the purposes of anonymity, I am going to call him Father Quill. Because I kid you not, this man was basically the human muggle embodiment of Professor Quirrell from Harry Potter. Think stutter. Think chronic nervousness. The works. So Father Quirrell seemed very nice, especially in comparison to our chronically grumpy, misogynistic, homophobic, ex-army parish priest. He'd come into our classes, spread the word of God or whatever priests do, and then leave. He gradually began to have more of a role in church services and really integrated himself into both the school and parish community. It was lovely, and that's come from a heathen like me. Then after he'd been with us for let's say just over a year, Father Quirrell told us that he'd tragically been diagnosed with testicular cancer. For most of us it was one of the first times that someone we knew was affected by terminal illness, so it was a big thing. And everyone at school and in the parish was really sad. Teachers kept telling us to go to the school counsellor to talk about how we were feeling and it was pretty much the discussion point of every family household at the school. And then to try and pick up morale, our school principal decided to stop us from moping and got us to actually do something about it. So she rallied the school community together and organized a bunch of fundraisers to try and help him get the best treatment available and pay for all of his medical bills. So families donated money and our school gave Father Quirrell the proceeds, the thousands of dollars that we got from our annual school fate. Plus I remember he actually won the raffle at the fate so he got his own plasma screen TV. We were doing a lot and it was great and we really stood by Father Quirrell. And then again, to pick up everyone's spirits, Father Quirrell would limp into our classrooms on crutches and give us all inspirational speeches about how you should be tenacious when facing adversity and that despite the fact that he had cancer, he wasn't giving up on life and then everyone would cry and applaud and give him a standing ovation. He even took over confession at the church, which you will soon learn is incredibly ironic. Then, one fateful day. Our legend of a school principal was driving from school to the hospital because she was going to see her brother who was in there at the same time and offered Father Quirrell a ride because he'd told her that he had an appointment there that day. Apparently, he refused and was acting super awkward about it. Enough for our school principal, once she got to the hospital, to ask if Father Quirrell did indeed have an appointment for treatment on that day. To which the hospital responded, no. And then she asked when Father Quirrell's next appointment for treatment would be, to which the hospital responded, we have no record of Father Quirrell receiving treatment at this hospital. What? How could this be? Well, strap yourselves in, fam. Obviously our school principal was very confused, so she confronted Father Quirrell about it, which is when he finally confessed that he had been lying about his testicular cancer and was in fact perfectly healthy and not going to die. Thinking back on this, I actually cannot believe that this is a thing that happened. Like this is genuinely insane. And I have a lot of thoughts on the matter. Obviously, why would you do this? For money? For attention? Look, I'm not professing to be a religious expert because that would be a straight up lie. But I'm relatively sure that pretending to have cancer is not living your life in the image of God. Sure, one of the Ten Commandments isn't thou shalt not pretend to be dying for money, but I feel like that's implied. Second of all, if you're going to pick a fake cancer to come down with, why pick testicular cancer? What's wrong with lung cancer or leukemia? Actually, there's a lot wrong with lung cancer and leukemia. Anyway, I feel like Freud would have a lot to say about this. Just like Professor Quirrell, Father Quirrell was similarly not as he appeared. Literally the only explanation is that he was taken over by Voldemort, but somehow I feel like that's not the case. So what happened after the truth came out? Did Father Quirrell get sent to jail for scamming the school out of thousands of dollars? Or at the very least, did he get banned and thrown out of the Catholic Church? No, none of the above. Our parish priest simply told us the truth very vaguely, said that we could not speak of this incident again to anyone, whoops, and sent Father Quirrell to another parish, where he could do exactly the same thing 
all over again with no repercussions. Obviously at the time I thought that this was pretty bad and incredibly weird, but what? What do you mean? Seriously, what even are the Catholic Church's conflict resolution tactics? But also at the same time, now I can appreciate that this is the funniest slash most horrendous train wreck of a situation and I live for that. Even though it's low key, mm, high key, disgusting. I don't know, I'm feeling a lot. And on that note, that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed hearing this story about an incredibly amoral and problematic priest, then please give it a thumbs up. Or if you were absolutely disgusted by what I had to say, also give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! We literally gave a lying priest with fake cancer a plasma TV. Like, where's mine?